Hey everyone, welcome to day three of our fast with Redlands Christian Center. If you're looking for the written copy of our fast that has a little bit of a Bible study, has a prayer and has some scriptures for you can look at, look up, you can find it at redlandschristiancenter.com. Look under Easter fast and you'll find the text and, and you can participate in daily. Uh, please let us know if you're joining with us. Please register so we know who we're praying with. So we're, we just love the fact that we can get together and fast up until this time that we celebrate Easter and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We'll bless you today as you're continuing on in, in day three of this fast. Our topic today is be a living sacrifice to God. And in that topic, um, I want to encourage you. Um, I've heard a couple of you already say, oh, you know, I'm, I'm a little frustrated. I've, I've slipped. I've I messed up during my time of fast. And be encouraged. The most important thing is that you continue on in the study. If we've missed it, we just simply tell God, you know, God, I'm sorry. I missed it. I purposed to fast, but I slipped and and didn't didn't make it. That's okay. The important thing is get back up and do it again. Keep on going. Don't stop. Continue to press in because the purpose of a fast is to draw near to God. It's not so important um, that we are giving up something or that we've stopped. You know, for me, it's drinking soda, it's, it's eating sweets and, and uh, committing to pray more. Um, if, if I fail in that, the most important thing is that I continue to walk on, that I continue to press in towards God because that's the purpose. A fast isn't changing God. It's not impressing God. It's changing us and changing our hearts. So I just want to encourage you to stay with this fast. And today we're talking about being a living sacrifice, a living sacrifice. Our God is interested in a relationship with us. We are his children. And just like we like our children and our grandchildren to connect with us and talk with us, our father wants us to be in his presence. So use this time, use whatever it is you've chosen to fast as a time to simply mark your thinking to help you with your discipline and to get into his presence. And you know, that's what uh, the children of Israel were doing as Ezra called a fast, is they were continuing to recognize their need for God. They knew that they couldn't do these things on their own. And what we're facing now in our nation is something that we can't do alone. We need the grace of God. We need the help of God to get us through it. But believe me, God will get us to the other side. If we continue to stand strong and not give up, we shall see the victory. We shall get to our expected end. That's a promise of God. We are continuing to let God work in us to complete the good work he began. And he said, I will get you to the other side. So today I want to, we're not necessarily going to read all of the Bible study, but I do want to read one of the scriptures with you out of Psalm 37 verse four, and it says, delight thyself in the Lord, and he shall give thee the desires of thine heart. Commit thy way unto the Lord, trust in him, and he shall bring it to pass. So we're gonna continue to stand strong, church. We're gonna continue to not let the devil get us into a, a place of defeat and despair, but we're gonna delight. We are not a defeated church. We are not a church that's gonna sit in a corner in despair, but we are gonna delight ourselves in the Lord and he shall bring it to pass. What's he gonna to bring to pass? His goodwill and his good pleasure. That's his word. And you know, we didn't have it in our scripture reading, but a few verses down, it says um, that we are gonna rest in the Lord and wait patiently for him. We're gonna fret not because of him who prosper us in the way. Because it seems like the devil is prospering. It seems like the devil is getting what he, is, he wants to accomplish. But he shall not prosper. Our God, our God is our deliverer. Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And we are going to commit our ways into the Lord as we continue to fast and pray. Then we're going to rest and trust in the Lord. Trust in the Lord and delight in him. And so today... As you go about your day and whatever activities you are doing at home, just remember that your trust is in him, not in what the news says, not in what the report says, 
but the report of the Lord is that we have victory in Christ Jesus. So I'm going to say the, uh, the prayer with you today that we have written out as a prayer of sacrifice. So please join me if you have the words with you. Dear God, by your word, I offer myself as a living sacrifice to be used by you. I understand that as I give myself to you, you provide for me all my needs for my household, and you also grant me the desires of my heart. Lord, I pray that you continue to change my heart so that I am not seeking fleshly desires, but that I would truly seek you to truly seek to please you and fulfill your will for my life. I am thankful that you are completing the good work you've begun in me. Lord, I love you and I bless your holy name. Amen and amen. Well, we love you too at Redlands Christian Center. If you have a prayer request or a need, be, uh, be sure and send an email into the church at Redlands Christian Center um, at gmail.com. Uh, we're going to be having a prayer session this Saturday night again at 5 o'clock, and we're going to be lifting up your prayer requests and standing with you in faith. Know that you're not alone. Know that Jesus is always with you, and we are with you, and we're praying for you. God bless you. Have a blessed day.